I pray you'll be my eyes and watch how where she goes and help her to be wise help me to let go And now a reading from Psalm 98. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made his known victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Sing praises to the Lord with lyre, with lyre the sound of the melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyous noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and all those who live in it. Let the floods clap and let the hills sing together joy at the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and judge the peoples with equity. And now a reading from John, chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You do not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. 
I am giving you these commandments so that you may love one another. Okay. Today is Mother's Day, and as we all know, every mother is different. But when it comes down to it, every one of our mothers is the same. They all possess honesty, generosity, encouragement, and support. Nobody in this room would be the same person they are today without the help of their mothers. Mothers are there for you through everything. And on Mother's Day, it's time for you to be there for her. I know I'm going to be there. My mom does so much for me on a regular basis. She's always my chauffeur, driving me from school to dance back home, only for it to happen again the next day. She always knows what gimmicks will get me A's on all my projects. But most importantly, I can call her my mother and my friend. I tell her more than anybody I know about grades, friends, dance. I feel completely comfortable with her and safe. I've learned from all of our talks that it's good to stay true to yourself and be who you want to be. Not only is she good at giving me this advice, but she is an excellent role model as well. When I learn new things from her, she is always taking her own advice and being herself. When I grow older, I hope to be just like her. Spread the love to your mothers today. I know I'm not the only one who will. Members of my confirmation class have written about stories and lessons they've learned and things they appreciate about their mothers. Our mothers have great advice givers. They always continue to put us before them, allowing us to have the opportunity to be as successful as we can. Also, we have learned and accepted the challenges that lie ahead of us. With your help, we become prepared. You teach us that life is hard, but we wouldn't know that without your help and support. Mostly, we love and appreciate your patience for all the attitude we give you. Thank you to not only our moms, but every other mother out there as well. You are our role models. We wouldn't know what to do without you. So make this Mother's Day truly special by telling your mom just how grateful you are for her and all she's done for your family. The best teacher our children is our mother. Moms teach their children values and life lessons that will help carry them through life. Because life is tough, but with proper teachings, it's easier. In my life, I have been to many classes full of great teachers, but the best 24-7 teacher I've had is my mom. When I was little, my mom taught me to be honest and not to steal and respect others. Now as I get older, she's teaching me time management and people skills, so I am prepared to face the world. My mom leads me by example and believes that everyone has a chance to learn from their mistakes. This Mother's Day, we should look back on what our mothers taught us, even if it's as simple as looking both ways before you cross the road, and thank them. Because those lessons, even the little ones, help you be who you are today. You should share their teachings with your kids, your friends, and people who you just met. As your mom continues to teach you, you are teaching others. Spend today giving back to your mom for doing the best job as your teacher. Um, I wrote a poem for Mother's Day. When we were kids, look at what we did. We played all day, laughing along the way. We scraped our knees, 